In this lecture, we will see how to design 3 bit synchronous down counter using JK flip flop. In the previous lecture, we have seen the same counter design using D flip flop. Now, we will see using JK flip flop. Now, down counter means what can be the sequence? Something like this. So, if it initially 0, then it will go to 7, then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come back to 0 again. So, this is the sequence we require. So, 0 to 7 means again it is mod modulus 8 synchronous down counter. Now again the, we follow the same steps so step one is we have to find the number of flip flops required so the moment three bit means so we need three flip flops so this is the number of flip flops so what is the maximum count n is equal to 2 power 3 so 8 so modulus 8 so, so that is this is also called modulus 8 synchronous synchronous down count right Next, what is the next step? Next step is state diagram. So, what is the state diagram? So, from this only we can uh, have the state diagram. So, triple zero initially. So, it will uh, the next state will be triple one, then one one zero, one zero one, one double zero, zero double one, zero one zero, zero zero one. After zero zero one, it is coming back to the zero again. So, that's why it is called modulus eight synchronous down counter. Now, once we know the state diagram, the step three is so choice of the flip flop. Yes or no? So I already mentioned that we are going to use JK flip-flop. So the choice of flip-flop is JK and for that flip-flop we need excitation table. So this is the excitation table for this JK flip-flop. That is when I want the next state as 0 and the present state is also 0, we need to apply 0 onto don't care. That is two conditions 0 0 or 0 1. Similarly 0 to 1 I need to apply this inputs. 1 to 0 I have to apply this inputs. 1 to 1 I have to apply this inputs. So once we know this so next step is we have to get the minimal expression for this the flip flops how many flip flops required three flip flops required so this is the step four so this is the present state and this is the next state and these are the three flip flops uh, required excitation so j2 k2 j1 k1 j0 k0 now how to get this required inputs is so if i want to get the inputs for j2 and k2 we have to see q2 present state q2 next state so if i see q2 present state is 0 next state is 1 so when it is changing from 0 to 1 what is the excitation we have to apply is see here 0 to 1 so we have to apply 1 don't care similarly 1 to 1 1 to 1 1 to 1 so three conditions are same see if i see here 1 to 1 means we have to apply don't care 0 don't care 0 don't care 0 so three conditions are over the next one is 1 to 0 so 1 to 0 what is the inputs required 1 to 0 means don't care 1 so don't care 1 next one is 0 0 0 to 0 and the last one is also 0 to 0 so what is the excitation table 0 to 0 means we have to apply 0 don't care so 0 don't care 0 don't care 0 don't care so this is how we have to fill the other flip flop inputs also <coughs> next q1 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 means what is the Excitation we have to apply 0 to 1 means 1 don't care. So 1 don't care. Next one q1 to q1 1 to 1 1 to 1 means what? Don't care 0. So don't care 0. Next one 1 to 0. So 1 to 0 means don't care 1. So don't care 1. Next one 0 to 0. So 0 to 0 means 0 don't care. Next one 0 to 1 1 don't care. Then 1 to 1 don't care 0. Next 1 to 0, 1 to 0 is don't care 1. Next last one is 0 to 0, that is 0 don't care. Right? So this is how I feel. See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Similarly, J0, K0. See, if I see J0 and K0, and that is we have to see Q0. Q0 is always struggling. See 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, and so on. So what is 0 to 1? 1 don't care, and 1 to 0 is don't care 1. So, first one 0 to 1 means 1 don't care 1 to 0 means don't care 1 and it will follow like this 1 don't care don't care 1 1 don't care don't care 1 1 don't care and the last one is don't care 1 right now so how many kmaps required 6 kmaps but we can eliminate 2 directly see if you see the j naught always it is either 1 or don't care so i can combine all the i, I can make a octet Simply I can write J0 is equal to K0 is equal to as 1 because if you see Q0 is always toggling right. So when 
the output is always toggles when we apply the j and k as one only so i can eliminate these two k maps next we have to go for these two k maps or i mean four k maps for j to k to j1 k1 <coughs> now so we have to be very careful is see triple zero is one but this is triple one 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 zero so we have to come from the bottom so zero zero one what is the value zero and so on <coughs> so how, how to fill so triple zero is one only and zero zero one is coming from the down so zero zero one zero then zero and so three zeros zero 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 then four don't care so simply fill these four don't care right so once we fill like this what is the combination i can make so i have to combine this one and this don't care so i can make simply j2 as q1 bar q0 bar see this one similarly k2 what is k2 so triple zero means don't care and the next uh, sequence will come from the bottom so triple double zero one so three don't care so don't care don't care don't care so three don't care then one one then again see three zeros so three zeros so again if you see i have to make this one or uh, what you call pair so again i'll get same q naught bar q1 bar or q1 bar q naught bar see j2 k2 are getting same similarly we have to go for j1 and k1 see what is j1 so triple zero means one then the sequence will come from the bottom so zero don't two don't care so zero one don't care one more don't care right then one zero two don't cares right so one zero two don't cares now here i can make one pair or using these two don't cares i can make a quad so what is this quad simply q naught quad yes or no what is this common the second one which is zero i have to make complement next one is k k1 so triple zero means don't care then i have to come from the bottom so don't care one don't care one then zero then two don't cares one zero so two don't cares one zero so again i have i can make a quad like this so again it is q naught bar only see j1 and k1 same j2 k2 same and what is j naught and k naught also same right so once we get the minimal expressions what is the next step we have to draw the logic diagram so how many flip flops three flip flops one two three i can use the positive edge trigger or negative edge trigger so in this case i am using positive edge trigger this is the clock same clock for all the flip flops j not k not q not q not bar so j1 k1 q1 q1 bar j2 k2 q2 q2 bar so these are the outputs then we have to apply the inputs what is j not k not always it is one only so very good what is j1 and k1 q not bar q not bar so from here i have to apply same for j1 and k1 over next what is k2 and j2 q1 bar q not bar so i need one and get here so q1 bar is coming here then q not bar is coming here then i can make as input something like this so this is the three bit synchronous down counter using jk flip flop now i told you in the previous lecture we will compare the the logic diagram for this jk flip flop as well as the uh, d flip flop right now see this logic diagram so if you use d flip flop we have to use external gates are so many that is the circuit is complex but if i see the jk flip flop here i am using only one and gate for this operation entire operation so that is the you no know, complex uh, complexity difference right so that's why we can use jk flip flop or t flip flop to get simple circuit right but we can use d flip flop also the, but the complexity is increasing in the circuit right now we will verify the functionality will it give the sequence as we required right so initially suppose all are zeros the outputs are zeros now the moment we apply the clock so j not k not is given as one so it will toggle the output one so but see initially zero so the q not bar will be one right so one is going here so it will also complement its output so it also will be one 
but what happens to the input of this one so this is one and previously this was zero that means it is one so it is one so one into one one so all the flip flops will toggle the previous state so it will become as triple one so double zero means i will get triple one now present state is triple one so before we apply the clock first we will find what are the inputs so it is changed to one now that means it will change it to zero so this is also change it to zero so anyway this is not required so q naught bar is zero q1 bar is also zero right so this is coming here zero this is also coming here zero so what is the input of this and gate or we can say output of the and gate and input of the j2 it is changed to zero right and also it is zero here zero here now the moment we apply the clock the q naught always will, it will toggle so q naught is zero right what happens so for j1 and k1 the inputs are zero zero so this is zero zero means it will maintain the previous state so q1 is one similarly j2 k2 yeah i forgot here so j2 and k2 will be same right so that is a mistake so j2 and k2 the see here q0 bar q1 bar q1 bar q0 bar same right so similarly it will maintain the previous state only right so similarly we can verify the truth uh, functionality of this 3 bit synchronous down counter so i will uh, verify one the last one suppose the present state is suppose well, is, uh, here present state is suppose 0 0 1 that is 1 0 0 right now what will happen when you have the clock see this is 0 means this will be 1 so this is 1 means here 1 so this is also 1 this is also 1 see 0 means here also 1 so 1 is coming here 1 1 means 1 right now if you apply the clock what will happen so anyway this will ch change its state so the next state will be 0 to 1 right so what happens to this uh, circuit so this is 0 means this is 1 so 1 1 means it will also toggle its output so 0 to 1 so what happens here now here this is also 1 so previous is 1 now it will toggle so what happens to so next state is 0 see so this is the required state right so 1 double 0 to 0 double 1 that is the next sequence see 1 double 0 to 0 double 1 so it is following the sequence as we required so we can fill this table something like this so double 1 double 0 means i will get 1 0 1 1 0 1 means i will get 1 double 0 1 double 0 means i will get 0 double 1 similarly 0 double 1 means i will get 0 1 0 0 1 0 means i will get 0 0 1 after 0 0 1 i will get as all zeros so we can verify the functionality as like this right so this is about the modulus 8 synchronous down counter or we can say 3 bit synchronous down counter in the next lecture we'll see modulus 6 counter or modulus 10 counters that is we have to stop the count in between right so 3 bit means it count maximum count is 8 but we can stop in between also so that we will see in the next lecture